My name is Arthur, and I live in Edinburgh, Scotland. I'm 22 years old. One night I was returning from a party for my friend's birthday. It was a very quiet night, no sign of humans. I was driving and I saw a girl. She was standing beside the road. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, a red coat, a skirt, and a white dress wore inside the red coat. I was kind of crushing on her because she was so beautiful. The wind was really strong. That girl asked me, Sir, if you don't mind, could I have a lift? Sure, I said. She sat in the back seat of the car. So, ma'am, where do you live? I said it with a bit of nervousness. She did not say a word, but gave me a small piece of paper. I kept it with me. The address was on the paper. Um, okay. What is your name? I asked. Mary Talish is my name, sir, she said. Okay, so can I call you Mary? I said. Yes, was her reply. Well, you could call me Arthur. She nodded with a smile. Well, Mary, what are your hobbies? Oh, I used to play with my dolls when I was young, but I won't be able to play with them anymore. It sounded a bit weird, but girls in their teens sometimes like to play with their dolls. You could say that Mary was 19. I also like to dance, but I cannot dance anymore. This time I freaked out a bit, saying it with a little fear. But Mary, you can dance, right? I wish I could, was her answer. We were passing by an old graveyard and Mary told me to stop by the gates of that graveyard. But Mary, it's not good for you to roam alone at night. Don't worry, Arthur. Here, take this jacket and drop it at my house. Her house was far away. She told me to go as soon as possible. I went to that address and I saw a huge bungalow. I knocked on the door and I saw an elderly woman who looked like she was in her late 40s, but was looking really old for her age. Um, ma'am, does Mary Talish live here? I asked. She suddenly burst out crying. I asked if I could help her. She called me into her house. She also called her husband. The house was pretty huge and beautiful from the inside, too. I also saw photos of Mary. When I saw the woman's husband, he too was looking very old and weak. He looked like he had not eaten for many days. The man and woman told me about Mary Talish. They said that she was their daughter, their only daughter they could have. They both loved her very much. One night when she was coming back home, a group of men abducted her and took her away. The old couple were worried about her and after two days, the police had found the girl's body. Her eyes were cut, her chest looked like someone had carved out her heart, and her left hand was cut. Mary Talish was dead. I couldn't believe what I was hearing from Mary's parents. Keeping control of myself, I gave them her jacket and went outside and was on my way home. Just as I got into my car, I saw Mary Talish again. This time, she was not looking like a human, but rather a ghost or a zombie. And she gave me a creepy smile. A few days passed and I found out by researching on the internet that whoever witnesses Mary Talish should help her. If not, you will be killed the same way Mary was killed. Luckily, I was kind enough to help Mary. And I pray to God that Mary finds peace in heaven. <laughs>